Andy's Man Club is a weekly peer-to-peer talking group in a non-clinical environment with a non-judgmental attitude. It's for men in the Wigan and Lee Borough with issues concerning mental health. Hi, <clears throat> my name's Simon. I attend the uh, Andy's Man Group at Lee. Um, what Andy's Man Club means to me, um, the motto for Andy's Man Club is, it's good to talk, but if there's nobody listening, you just talk to yourself, and that's what Andy's Man Club is to me. <clears throat> People listen to you, offer you advice, support you, and be there for you, just listen. Um, <clears throat> without Andy's Man Club, a lot of people wouldn't be here now. Um, so long may it continue. What we would like to do with the extra funding is take the concept and the structure of Andy's Man Club and introduce it to grassroots sports clubs within the Wigan and Lee Borough. We would train volunteers within each of the local clubs in the area to facilitate a weekly talking group where individual players can come and discuss any issues that they're dealing with in everyday life and offer peer-to-peer -peer support. We would also offer continuous training for the facilitators in all areas surrounding mental wellbeing in young adults, up-to-date signposting information and a support network so volunteers do not show the burden of our young residents on their own. Ready for first team and um, then I picked an injury up and it, and it, it sort of reeled me out. So I ended up at that point then going back playing amateur. And uh, as much as I love my amateur days uh, uh, at St Pat's, I always felt that I never lived up to my potential. And I think, you know, for me, I've always felt the only thing I've ever been good at in my life was rugby. And to, to think that the only thing you can do well you've not done as good as you could have done that. It's like a, a big bearing on me all the time. I'm, it's like a weight on my shoulders all the time. And you know, uh, I went through a, a really hard time at this point and uh, my mum died and everything sort of got on top of me. And um, I, I didn't really feel I had anybody I could have turned to or talked to. Uh, and I ended up trying to commit suicide. The thing that hurts most is I've, I've got, I've had quite a few friends who've killed themselves, um, rugby players. And you know, something like this, if, if a club like, if a, something like Andy's Man Club was there, I question would, would it have happened, you know, and I think the, the answer to that is probably no. The, you know, the, the funding that can come, come through for this, it, it could save lives, literally save lives, you know, there's, there's no other way about it, it's, 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 a, it's a game changer, isn't it?